This is epithelial tissue review and practice. The instruction for this video is for you to pause at each start of the, each slide, then try to identify the epithelial tissue and the structures within it, and then play the video to check your answers. The characteristics that you need to concentrate on is the scalloped or the dome-shaped apical surface. The shape of the nuclei are round, which might suggest that it's cuboidal. Notice that there are multiple layers, levels of nuclei, which means it's got to be some type of stratified. But you need to notice that the nuclei goes all the way to the apical surface. Only one tissue that has nuclei going all the way to the apical surface is transitional. First, identify the parts of the epithelium. Here's your basement membrane, which attaches the connective tissue to the um, epithelium. The apical surface is the portion that is not attached to anything. The space inside the tube, this is a tube, is called a lumen. Note the shape of the nuclei are flat, disc-shaped. And notice that there is only one layer. One layer tells you it's simple. The shape of the nuclei tells you it's flat. So this is simple squamous epithelium. Here's your basement membrane, which attaches the epithelium to the connective tissue. Here's one on this side. This is your apical surface on this side and apical surface on this side. Notice this is the space. This is called a lumen. Space with inside the organ is the lumen. So from here to here is the epithelium. There is only one row of round nuclei. One row of round nuclei, one tells you, one layer tells you it's simple. The round nuclei and a square shape or cube shape cells, simple cuboidal. Basement membrane, apical surface. Notice there is something special about the apical surface. You see these hair-like structures on the surface, those are your cilia. Notice that the nuclei are tall and oval-shaped and the cells are tall, but it gives you the appearance that there are multiple layers. See, there is a layers of cells here, so it gives you the appearance of multiple layers, but in technicality, there is still just one layer. So this is your pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. The only cells or only tissue that I will give you that has cilia will be pseudostratified. So as soon as you see cilia, you should think of yourself pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Basement membrane, connecting the epithelium to the connective tissue. Your apical surface, which is not attached to anything. So this here is your epithelial tissue. This is your connective tissue. Notice that the shape of the nuclei are tall and they're all lined up toward the basement membrane and which means that the cell of the, the shape of the cell is rectangular. One row of rectangular shaped cells, this is your simple columnar. These white structures, because again we're looking at a columnar cell, these are your goblet cells, which produce mucus. Here's your apical surface, which is not attached to anything. Here is your basement membrane. Which means this is all epithelial tissue and this lighter area, which is your connective tissue. Notice toward the basement membrane, the cell, the shape of the nucleus seems more of a square shaped or round. 
but as you get closer to the apical surface, notice that the cells become more flat and the nuclei become more flat. Multiple layers of cells with flat cells at the apical surface, this is your stratified squamous. But do you see this big, huge layer here? This layer is called keratin. It is that thick protein that protects the skin. And so this tissue is called keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Okay, so here's your basement membrane. Here is your apical surface which means this is your epithelial tissue and this is your connective tissue underneath. Near the apical surface, notice the hair-like structure. These are your cilia. And as soon as you see cilia, you should think about that it is pseudostratified columnar epithelium. It does not mean that other type of cells do not have cilia. It's just that the only ones that I'm going to show you is going to be pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Okay, basement membrane, apical surface, the space with inside the organ is your lumen, and this is your epithelial tissue. Notice that there are two rows of nuclei. Two rows means two layers, which is, means that it's stratified. Notice that the Cells near the basement membrane look cuboidal, but when you look at the top layer, the layer that is closer to the apical surface, the nuclei are oval shaped, so the cells are tall. So multiple layers of tall cells, this is your stratified columnar epithelium. This is your apical surface, and the space inside it is called the lumen. This is your basement membrane. Same thing here, apical surface, basement membrane, lumen. That means this space here looks almost like a donut, is your epithelial tissue. All of this other stuff is your connective tissue. Notice that there are, they almost look oval, but they sh they're more like round. Here's one layer of round nuclei. Here's another la layer of round nuclei. So multiple layers of round nuclei, again here, one row of almost oval shape, but it should be more round, and then another row of round nuclei. So you're looking at square shaped cells, and so you're looking at multiple layers of square, square such cells, and so this is your stratified cuboidal epithelium. Okay, basement membrane down here. You have this scalloped, dome-shaped apical surface. So automatically when I say scalloped or dome-shaped apical surface, you should be thinking transitional. If that's not a clue for you, look at the nuclei. It goes all the way to the apical surface. It is the only epithelium where the nuclei goes all the way to the apical surface. And this is transitional epithelium which is not distended, which means it's not stretched. You are looking at a transverse or a cross section of a blood vessel. And so this is the lining of the blood vessel. And this is the material inside it. So basically where this line, that black line is around that, that is the only epithelium. So here's your basement membrane, here's your apical surface. Notice the shape of the nuclei are flat and it is only one layer thick. One layer tells you it's simple, the flat disc shaped nuclei tells you it is squamous. So this is your simple squamous epithelium. This one should be easier to identify because the Epithelial tissue is in purple. So here's your basement membrane, which connects the epithelium to the connective tissue. Here is your apical surface. So all of this is your 
epithelium, connective tissue also. Notice that there are two rows of nuclei. So two rows tells you that it's stratified. Then when you look at the shape of the nuclei, they are tall and oval shaped. So two layers of tall oval shaped nuclei and cell, this is your stratified columnar epithelium. Another structure you need to identify is these round white areas. These are your called goblet cells. And they produce mucus. Again, you are inside of an organ, and so the space inside of an organ, this is called the lumen. So here's your basement membrane, which separates it, the epithelium from the connective tissue. Here's your apical surface, which is not attached to anything. So this space here, all of this material is your epithelial tissue. Notice you will see two rows of nuclei. Multiple layers tells you stratified. Shape of the nuclei are somewhat round. Look at this one is round. Majority of them are round, so two rows of round nuclei, and you can't really see the cells, but they are cube-shaped, so this is your stratified cuboidal epithelium. Here's your apical surface, which is not attached to anything. Here's your basement membrane, which attaches it to the connective tissue be below, so this is your epithelial tissue. Notice the nuclei or the cells are more of a round or a cube shape toward the bottom, but as you go further up to the apical surface, the nuclei are more disc shaped or flat. So multiple layers of cells with flat disc shaped nuclei toward the apical surface, this is your stratified squamous epithelium. And notice that, that it's missing an additional layer of protein which is called keratin, so this is your non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Here's the apical surface. Here's the basement membrane. That makes this the epithelial tissue and this connective tissue and this connective tissue. Note the nuclei are oval. You can't really see the cell. And they are somewhat in a row. So there's one row of tall oval shaped nuclei, which means that they have tall cells. So this is your one row is simple. And tall cells with oval nuclei are simple columnar. Again, these white areas here are your goblet cells. Here's your basement membrane. Basement membrane, basement membrane, apical surface, apical surface, apical surface. Okay, so all of these are your epithelial tissue. Okay? The space inside this area, remember again, it's called a lumen. The shape of the nuclei are oval. There is only one row of nuclei. So one row tells you simple. The shape of the cells are cube shaped with round nuclei. So this is your simple cuboidal epithelium. There is one tiny single thin layer of epithelial tissue that is covered up by that black line. Notice that there is one layer, very thin, and notice this dark structure is the nuclei, and they're all flat disc shaped. So one layer of flat disc shaped um, cells, this is your simple squamous epithelium.